good morning everyone today's topic for presentation is periodontal pocket and its pathogenesis periodontal pocket is defined as apical migration of junctional epithelium or deepening of gingival sulcus deepening of gingival sulcus can be uh, due to coronal migration of marginal gingiva which makes a false pocket and apical migration of junctional epithelium which makes a true pocket so coming to pathogenesis of pocket so bacterial plaque is regarded as a primary etiological factor in the initiation of gingival inflammation and subsequent destruction of periodontal tissues which is reported by offenbacher in 1996 so the changes which are involved in the transition uh, include the normal from the normal gingival sulcus to uh, the pathological periodontal pockets are generally associated with different proportions of bacterial changes in the plaque so supragingival plaque when it uh, enters into subgingival areas the composition changes to anaerobic organisms which are more of spirochetes and motile rods will will be initiated and this particular thing initiates more number of polymorphonuclear leukocytes and macrophages to migrate into the gingival tissues and uh, this uh, happens in response of in response to bacterial uh, changes so coming to pathogenesis of periodontal pocket so uh, pocket formation so generally is said to be initiated as an inflammatory change in the junctional epithelium and connective tissue wall of the sulcus so how does this uh inflammatory change occur so this occurs due to either cellular or inflammatory exudates which are released by these organisms which cause degeneration of uh, surrounding tissue the surrounding connective tissue fibers uh, more of gingival fibers so the junctional epithelium uh, the apical part of junctional epithelium where there is uh, collagen fibers are destroyed due to this particular inflammatory process and the area is occupied by inflammatory cells more of inflammatory cells and edematous uh, fluids so in, uh, as you can uh, notice in this particular figure you can see the complex environment of the sulcus where there is break in continuity of the gingival sulcular epithelium so when there is ulceration and the break in continuity there is inflow of polymorphonuclear neutrophils into this particular uh, site as a uh, extracellular matrix proteins uh, uh, and the break in continuity of the gingival sulcus so there will be detachment of the sulcular epithelium the, the, the junctional epithelium it progresses uh to shift in junctional epithelium so the earlier concepts assumed that after the initial attack bacterial attack the periodontal tissue destruction uh, continued uh, continuously linked to bacterial actions so more recently it has been established that the host uh, immune inflammatory response to the initial and persistent bacterial attack also leads to uh, causes uh, some mechanisms that can lead to collagen destruction and bone destruction so these mechanisms are more related to various cytokines which are released as an inflammatory or pro inflammatory markers um, of which Uh, are produced normally by cells of non-inflamed and uh, inflamed tissues which are in involved in inflammatory process such as polymorphonuclear leukocytes uh, monocytes and other cells leading to collagen and bone destruction 
so as you can uh, appreciate in this particular picture where a complex environment is created where there is a uh, plaque accumulation and more of uh, deputation of PMN accumulation in the plaque surface and then they get into the uh, into the gingival tissues or connective tissue and then more of my more migration of PMNs can take place and then there is release of cytokines and uh, other in, uh, inflammatory fluids and serum epithelial cells, peptides, all these things participate in gingival uh, periodontal pocket formation. So these uh, cytokines which are inflamed and non-inflammatory cells to collagen and bone destruction uh, lead to bone destruction. So connective tissue metabolism occurs generally in two mechanisms. One is collagenases and other enzymes secreted by various uh, cells in healthy and inflamed tissues such as fibroblasts and uh, polymorphonuclear leukocytes and macrophages they become extracellular and uh, destroy the uh, collagen and these enzymes that degrade collagen and other matrix um, macromolecules into small peptides which are called as matrix metalloproteinases and the second mechanism which involves is fa uh, fibroblast phagocytos, uh, phagocytosis so uh, fibroblasts phagocytize collagen fibers and by extending cytoplasmic processes to the ligament and cementum interface and which uh, degrade the inserted uh, collagen fibrils and the fibrils of the cementum or the matrix. So as a consequence what uh, what will happen if the loss of collagen occur? So loss of collagen occurs will be apical cells of the junctional epithelium which proliferate along the root surface extending finger like projections and these cells uh, are 2 to 3 uh, cells in thickness. So coronal portion of junctional epithelium detaches first and then uh, Thus, the sulcus bottom shifts apically, and the oral uh, sulcular epithelium occupies a gradually increasing portion of uh, sulcular lining. And the extension of junctional epithelium along with uh, the root requires the presence of healthy epithelial cells also, and marked degeneration of necrosis uh, of junctional epithelium impairs rather uh, than accelerate pocket formation. So the key facts in these mechanisms include the cytokines which are proteins secreted by cells that interact with other cells and eventually lead to a specific cellular response and cytokines can be either pro-inflammatory or anti-inflammatory in nature. And pro-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-1 and tumor necrosis factor alpha are implicated strongly in the pathogenesis of periodontal disease progression. And anti-inflammatory cytokines such as IL-4, IL interleukin-4 and interleukin-10 counteracts these effects of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Along with this, there can be a short notes on matrix metalloproteinases and tissue inhibitors of matrix metalloproteinases. What are these? These are nothing but a group of proteases which play an important role in several biological processes involving uh, degradation of proteins. So specifically there are uh, important players, they are important players in extracellular matrix degradation and are inhibited by tissue inhibitors of matrix metalloproteinase TIMPs and the balance between MMPs and TIMPs 
is critical for the maintenance of extracellular matrix remodeling in tissues including the periodontia. So as a result of inflammation, so PMNs invade the coronal end of junctional epithelium in increasing numbers. More numbers of PMNs get into the uh, coronal end of junctional epithelium and the PMNs are not joined to one another or in any uh, or to the other epithelial cells by desmosomes. So when the relative volume of PMNs reaches approximately 60% or more of junctional epithelium, then the tissue loses its cohesiveness and detaches from the tooth surface. Thus the coronal portion of junctional epithelium detaches from the root as the apical portion migrate apically. So, so resulting in apical shift of junctional epithelium and the oral circular epithelium gradually occupies an increasing portion of sulcus then a pocket lining. So in this picture you can appreciate various interleukins, interleukin 10, interleukin 13, TNF alpha all these are uh, produced by T lymphocytes and macrophages also produce these and there is uh, they all participate in promotion of more number of PMNs and then there will be uh, loss of cohesiveness of the pocket epithelium which makes the uh, epithelium shift apically. So the pocket uh, formation occur in two stages. The first stage where there is changes in the junctional epithelium occur then the proliferate uh, proliferates along the root surface that is finger like projections which can occur in two mechanisms that is coronal portion detaches from the root surface which can lead to uh, due to bacterial enzymes and physical forces which are exerted by them. Then apical portion of junctional epithelium where uh, replace, which is replaced by pocket epithelium at later stage. The second uh, stage of pocket uh, pathogenesis involves aggressive growth and action of gram negative bacteria which eliminate uh, which uh, emigrate lot of number of uh, more number of neutrophils and disrupts the epithelial barrier causing open communication and then thereby loss of chemotactic gradient and tissue destruction due to products released by neutrophils as well as bacteria. And then the destruction of allular bone and periodontal pocket is established. So, so these occur in two stages changes in the epithelium and by aggressive growth of action of gram negative bacteria. These are the two steps by two steps it can the pocket epithelium uh, the pocket formation can occur so thank you